Have you ever looked like shit so much that you felt like you just rolled in a huge pile of shit? Yeah. That's me, Joel Cruz, the family fuck up, and I'm not your typical Asian. That's my hot girlfriend, Laura Miller, one of the whitest girls you ever know. She's very smart and keeps me in check what every man needs. And that's Tony Lee, the greatest best friend that anybody can ever have. He's too smart savvy and someone not to fuck with. He loves the Asian culture. He's more Asian than I am. That's my older brother, Billy Cruz. He's the model son every Asian parent dreams of. God, he's such a dick. Oh, that's his wife, Linda Lewis Cruz. She's such a sweetheart, always nice to me whenever I'm over. Respectful, but no pushover. Joel, what are you doing here? What, I can't visit my big bro? Usually, it involves money. Can't help a brother out. I can see some things have never changed. Actually, my hair was longer and I was a little chunkier back then. But you probably would remember if you didn't come out of your life like everyone else did. You never respected dad's rules and always had a short temper. <laughs> see, I thought short temper was always a quick response to bullshit. Always a smart ass. Billy. I'm always a stuck up prick. Joel. At least I look respectful and didn't put our family's name to shame. I always put our family shit in the winter else I did. Can you blame us? No, I can't. But I have something to tell you. Here we go. Sure, it's not what you think. Really? So what am I supposed to think? Have the three of you looked at yourselves in the mirror this morning? Because you look like shit. And you smell like shit. Which leads me to my next question. What the hell have you been up to? You meet up with every dude in the club before you got in my section. You're swallowing your words and stumbling and we don't want the attention. You're crying and stressing. Who are you impressing? I pay for your Uber just so you can leave now. That's all that I need now. It's all that I need now. Didn't know my name too, you fooled it. I watched the first hit, that's too legit. But you truly are lit. Drink more water, I love a cone in it. I just said you had to go home. Did you come here all alone? I stopped grabbing from my phone Thank God that Uber's here, you're going home Just another night, just another night We gon' be alright, we gon' be alright Just another night, just another night We gon' be alright, we gon' be alright What's wrong? I don't know you can tell me. Do you ever wonder what we're doing here? All the time. Like, why aren't we fucking? No, oh, I'm serious. What is it? Lately, I've been thinking about my life and where it's heading. I'm 30. I'm not married, I don't have children, I don't have a stable job. I'm not Asian enough. Pa parents disown me. I have a minimum wage job. I don't even own a car, I can't even take you on a date. You're dating a loser. No. You're just trying to figure it out like the rest of us. <laughs> I think it's too late for that. Joel. I always wonder what it'd be like if I went to college. I had a full ride scholarship too. But all I wanted to do back then was be a groupie in my ex's band, travel and explore life. You know, and I thought he was the one until I caught him in some gas station bathroom with another groupie and it was very classy. But the point I'm trying to make is as my mom always said, it's never too late. I might be 22, Joel, but it's true. We've got time. I like that. It's never too late. You know, all this talking deep has killed my bus. <laughs> Sorry. You want to shoot up before we meet Tony? No, I think I'll just stick to what I usually do. Okay.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that touching moment, because the next scene isn't touching at all. However, this story does have a happy ending, so don't start crying just yet. Save those sad tissues for happy tissues. Now, to the real story. Please. That's Melody. She's the bar owner and our lovely boss. She's a straight shooter. Oh, there it is. Hey. Look at these fuck cards. Yeah, let me too. You guys are late again. Are we always? Our Asian's always late. Honey, you don't even know. But you guys need to go. Go! Go! For fuck's sake, go! I, uh, I, I don't trust him, boss. No. I don't. They don't look too tough to me. They're harmless. You're late! Yeah, something came up. That's a terrible excuse. <laughs> yeah, well, we're actually already here, so we have the stuff, you have the stuff. Let's all go home and do this, okay? Like one big happy family. What are you supposed to be? Sammy? But actually, I'm Filipino. What about you? What are you? Watch it, chink. What's a chink? It's pretty much the N-word for Chinese people. Oh. Okay. I'm not Chinese. What's the difference? Uh, Sammy. Hey, he said he's not Chinese. He's Filipino, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, why don't, why don't we all stop the chit chat, you know, and, and let's get this going, okay? Let's, let's, let's get it moving, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> let's wrap this shit up. Give him the money. We're good. I'm okay. thinking about it. Same. Hey! Why? Is that your little girlfriend? Yeah, why? She must like tiny dicks. Sam, Hammy. Sam! I guess it's true what they say. You need your women to do all your work. Sammy, come on. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fuck, I thought they were harmless. Tell your girlfriend, stop. Um, you can't stop Tiny Girl Rage, so I'm not. Are you scared? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Narks! Narks! Hey, drop your weapons! Get your asses on the ground! Now! Come on, let's go! No, call for back, I'll let him handle it. I know you're here. You're slow. Okay. Let's go. Ah! Ah! You fucking should have ran when you had the fucking chance. Um, get the name of your supplier. Fuck you. I'm gonna fucking pay for this knock, boy. <laughs> Who would I make the payment to? My foot up your ass? You got fucking jokes, huh? Oh, yeah. You got jokes? Get a lot. Funny boy? Huh? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you, you win. You should have stayed in your castle, little princess. There's no turning around now. Words can hurt us, but they can also inspire. And when we're hurt and inspired at the same time, you become fearless and unstoppable. I needed to hear that. It's true. I ain't nothing but shit, like you said. But it doesn't mean that I can't be something more. I just have to go for it. No more holding back. Time to go ham. I'd be a badass motherfucker. Never. Never.
Give me the name of your supplier now. Fuck you. Come on. Who's your name of your supplier? You really want to fucking know? I do want to know. Come on, who is it? It's your fucking brother. Never trust a junkie. Oh, Who's the fuck up now? Billy? Is this true? Billy! I had to do something. The bills were piling up. Wrong investment moves. We owed several people money. It all became too much. How could you do this? What about our children? Classic story, money. You know, I'll let you two have your own moment, but don't take too long. They're waiting outside. I think that. Let to go. Sorry, Linda. Oh, Billy. Who put the family to shame now? Wait, the city's dying. I mean, make it look good. So. Want more? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. No? <sighs> Thank you for coming to see me again. It's good to see you again, too, sweetie. Why? Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, 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 congratulations. You just helped us bust the biggest local heroin epidemic we've ever had. But next time, keep it to a minimal. Cost me extra PR work. Yeah. Can I get you three anything? Yeah, get them a drink and anything they'd like to eat. I gotta run. Oh, and guys, you have a bright future ahead of you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay? Enjoy. Have you ever stopped for a moment and just stared at what's around you? Like right now, I have the best girlfriend, the greatest best friend, and I'm at an exclusive rooftop bar with a beautiful ocean view. This is what heaven must be like. And I finally have accepted who I am and what I want. And what I want is to just be me and live the high life. Well, obviously the deal was that we have to be clean right afterwards, but who knows? Who knows where this will take me or Laura or Tony? All I know that this is my family. I'd ride or die for them any day.